Once again, hello to everybody. My name is Patricia Maoli Nyekoji Amanewe. Imagine a young girl born in a humble town in the heart of Mepe in Ghana, dreaming of soaring through the skies. Today, we unfold the inspiring journey of Patricia Mawuli Nyekodzi, who not only defied the odds, but became a trailblazer in aviation. Her story is a tale of resilience, passion, and breaking barriers. This is the extraordinary story of Ghana's first female civilian pilot and aircraft engineer. Mawuli's childhood in Mepe, a town in the Volta region, was far from extravagant. Yet, from her humble beginnings, a dream took flight. Her fascination with airplanes, etched in years of watching them soar overhead, became the compass guiding her destiny. It was a day when I went into the bush to cut trees, I saw these small planes flying overhead. It made me really happy, but I was scared at the same time, so I would run and hide from them. But then I was still enjoying looking at them. So curiosity, <laughs> I would hide as the planes pass by me, I would come out and see them again. And through that, I think as though I was scared, it still built some confidence in me, which it put some kind of energy or interest that told me, well, I need to go and find where these planes come from. At the age of 19, Mawuli's pursuit of her aviation dream led her to Pong Airfield. Initially turned away, she displayed unwavering determination. She was rather offered a chance to contribute by weeding and clearing the runway, undeterred. She seized the opportunity. It was here that her dedication caught the attention of Jonathan Porter, the airfield's technical director, opening the door to a destiny she hadn't dared to imagine. I didn't want to work, I just want to be around the aeroplanes. So what can I do? I was given a machete and a mattock to go and pull out three stems from the runway. In 2009, Patricia Mawuli achieved what seemed impossible. She became Ghana's first female civilian pilot. Breaking barriers further, she became the first black African certified to build Rotax aircraft engines and the first woman in West Africa with this qualification. Partnering with Jonathan Porter, they founded the Aviation and Technology Academy in Ghana, paving the way for future female aviators. Hey, the very first time I flew, I couldn't believe I was in the air. It was so different. Because from the air, everything looks so different. You have some kind of personal relationship with the machine you are flying in. I was so thrilled and my eyes just popped open. After that three minutes free flight, I was thrilled. I wanted to become a pilot. I wanted to be with the planes because I thought it's where I belong. Putting her own salary into the school, Mawuli focused on educating girls from rural backgrounds offering them opportunities that seemed out of reach. The Aviation Academy became a beacon of hope, training young minds in aircraft engineering, flight instructions, and robotics. Mawuli wasn't just a pilot, she was a catalyst for change. Becoming an instructor at Pong Airfield and later the managing director of operations, Mawuli's commitment soared beyond the skies. Volunteering with medicine on the move, she transported doctors, delivered medical supplies, and provided health education to remote Ghanaian communities. Her compassion knew no bounds as she dropped educational pamphlets over isolated villages. I think women make good pilots, and let me say why. Women are much more smooth and gentle. So we are cooking boiled rice, and I can show you the rice where Women follow recipe all the time, cooking with hot fats and naked flames. When they come to flying, they apply the same skills that they use in the kitchen. Have you eaten palava sauce before? Oh, and you try it today. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Um, it's very similar to flying. I will compare it much more to building. When you're building the flames, you read the drawing. They interpret that drawing to drilling, marking out, everything has to be exact. In 2015,
Patricia embarked on a new chapter, moving to Wales with her husband. Together, they established an aviation engineering business at Haverford West Airport. This dynamic duo continued their journey, leaving an indelible mark on the global aviation landscape. To crown her remarkable achievements, Patricia Mawuli Nikotsi was recently honored with an OBE, a testament to her contributions to aviation and education. Her story is not just a celebration of personal triumph, but an inspiration for generations to come. As we marvel at Patricia's journey from Meper to the skies and beyond, let us be reminded that dreams fueled by passion and resilience can break through even the highest altitudes. Patricia's legacy is not just about flying high, it's about lifting others with her. This, my friends, is the soaring saga of Ghana's first civilian female pilot. Stay tuned for more incredible stories right here on the Ever Heritage.